Hey gang, Scott here. Quick tip for you today about lens corrections and exaggerating distortion for an artistic effect. Uh, you'll see me do this in the Lightroom, but this really applies to any application that you can control lens corrections. You can apply a profile and you can override the settings to make things suit your taste. So I had this photo here where I found I was exaggerating the lens corrections a little bit. So here we're looking at, I have my normal lens corrections applied, right? Just the detect what kind of camera was used to take the photo, what kind of lens, and the software applies a lens correction. Well, I wanted to really kind of bring his fist and this instrument a little farther forward. And let me just go to this other snapshot after. You'll see it just push in just a little bit. And it's not a crop. It looks like a crop right before and after, but there's also a slight bowing effect. I'm, I'm, I'm increasing the distortion. I'm taking the amount down. So if I push this really far, you can see I'm pushing this way out like that, right? Just doing a nice little tweak there. And I found that to be just enough, just subtle enough that I can, I can bring that forward and push it there so that I get the effect that I want. And actually, as I'm playing with this, maybe I'll even nudge it up a little bit farther because this is ultimately, to me, the story of this photo, right? His his hand around the neck of this instrument, you know, this this ring is fantastic. Uh, the, you know, the, the 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 verticals of the strings, you know, crossing with his fingers, all that kind of stuff there. But I wanted to bring that forward just a little bit and exaggerate a little, make it a little bit larger than life. I was already shooting at the wide angle lens. Let's just go with it and increase that distortion uh, ever so slightly. And it really lended itself to this kind of photo. So uh, I know most of the time we're applying lens corrections to get rid of distortion, but there may be a photo or two where you want to accentuate it and you want to create a little more of a warped look. Hope you found the video useful. Got any questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.